Hi and welcome to In The Can. Today I'm going to make uh, pierogies and this time I'm going to make a sweet potato pierogi. So I've got two hand size or medium sized sweet potatoes and one russet potato. So it's roughly a pound of potatoes. I'm going to put those on with the skins on to boil. And I want to cook them until they're soft. And then I'll be back with the cooked potatoes to show you what we're going to do to mix them up. Okay, I'm back. My pot potatoes have been boiled. They're soft. I peeled them. Now I'm just going to lightly mush them. I don't want a creamy mash. I just want them lightly mushed. So that there's some chunks of potato left. And to this, I'm going to add half an onion that I sauteed until soft and lightly brown. I've decided to give this a little bit of a kick. So I'm going to add about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh yeah, smells good. There's my filling. Set it aside and we're going to get started on making the dough. I've got two cups of flour in the bowl. I add a teaspoon of salt. Half a cup of flour sitting inside a cup of water. I'm 
going to add one large egg. <coughs> Pour just a little bit of the water in here. And I'm going to get my hands in here and start getting messy and start incorporating this. Add water little by little as I go along. to it. Not all of it, just some. And get it incorporated into the dough. Add the rest of the water. Then I'm going to add the rest of the flour.
Now that I have this mixed, I'm going to divide it in half, wrap it in plastic, and let it sit for 20 minutes. Okay, then I'll okay. be back to and start assembling that for the pierogies. 20 minutes. I put a piece of, piece of parchment on the table. Put a little flour on it. I'm going to start rolling the dough out. Pierogi is a dumpling, so I don't want this to be very thick. I want it to be fairly thin. I'm going to use a glass to cut out my pierogies. a little bit of the potato mixture in the center. Pull the dough over. And lightly pinch the edges together. Then carefully I'm going to crimp the edge slightly with a fork. And there is a pierogi. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll be back when I'm ready to start cooking them. Now I should have shown this earlier when I started making the progi. That you take your 
piece of pasta dough, put the mixture in, then moisten the edge of the dough about halfway around. It's a little bit of water and fold it over and it'll help it to stick. When you crimp it, be sure to just crimp the very edge because you don't want to tear into the part that has the filling. Otherwise your filling will come out as you cook it. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've got 32 pierogies here. A pot of boiling water. I'm going to drop the pierogies into the boiling water. about six of them at a time. Bring the water back up to the boil. And then let them cook for about three minutes before taking them out. And I'll be back when they're ready. Okay, my pierogies have been cooking for about three minutes. And now they're floating on top. Which means they should be done. So I'll take these out. Drop in six more. and let them cook. In the meantime, a little dollop of sour cream here. Oops. And here's the pierogies I just cooked. Very good. That cinnamon I put in there, just give it a hint. It's not very much. So, hopefully you'll give this recipe a try. I'm going to finish cooking these. Once they've cooled down enough, I'm going to pack them up three to a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer, and when I want them, I'll pull out a bag, spray a little bit of cooking oil onto a, or a cooking spray onto a piece of aluminum foil. wrap it up, pop it in the oven for about a half an hour and they'll have a little bit of a crispy crunch on the bottom side and they'll be fully cooked. So thank you for watching and give this a try.